Your allergy skin testing showed reactions to dust mite. We know that the dust mite is the main cause of house dust allergy. The dust mite lives in pillows and in mattresses and carpet, upholstered furniture and some clothing in your closet. But the main place that we're exposed is around the head of the bed. The dust mite doesn't jump on the skin, and you and I don't itch, but the droplet of the mite gets in the air, and that's what we're allergic to. Now, if we took a thousand dust mites and put them on a dry, smooth surface, within a period of 24 hours, they'd all dry up, die, blow away. If you took those same thousand dust mites and put them in your pillow or in my pillow, they'd all survive. They've got fibers to hold on to. They've got the darkness that they need. Ultraviolet light will kill the dust mite. And also, they feed off human scale, and we shed our skin every day. So when you lay down on your pillow, you actually leave a hot fudge sundae for the dust mite. So what can we do around the pillow and mattress? Well, it's very simple. We need a barrier between your nose and the pillow. We have vinyl covers. Now, vinyl covers to go over a pillow will crinkle, crunch, make you sweat. So we have some samples of a synthetic vinyl that will breathe and therefore won't make you sweat and you won't hear the noise, but it keeps the dust mite droplet from penetrating. I want a vinyl cover that goes all the way over your pillow and zips up, then your pillowcases go over that. The same thing with your mattress. I want a vinyl cover that goes over the mattress, and zips up, your sheets go over that. You need to wash your sheets and pillowcases in the hot cycle. That's 130 degree temperature or more. For some reason, if we wash the dust mite in cool water, they will survive. So wash in hot water. There are some other things that we can do. Number one, the ceiling fan should not be going in the bedroom. The ceiling fan will agitate the air and will agitate the dust mite droplet in where it is exposed to your nose when you're sleeping at nighttime. You want the air still where the dust mite droplet will settle to the floor. Any agitation, such as walking in the room or turning on a fan, will bring the dust mite droplet back up into the air. The vent should not be directed at the nose. If you will do these things that we've mentioned, you'll find that your dust allergy will improve dramatically. Studies out of Virginia with Thomas Platts Mills have shown that patients with asthma due to dust allergy or people with allergic noses due to dust mite allergy, if they're placed in a clean hospital room with vinyl covers and laminar flow where there's no dust mite, within a period of five or six days, the asthma will begin to go away and the allergic no symptoms will go away in a period of two to three days. So you remember, the better job you do, the more results you'll get.